I don't know what's happening here, but I was just coming to get some Powerade and some gas. And it looks like something pretty bad. Hopefully everything's alright. I don't know. Cops and big old fire truck at the gas station. Ooh, craziness starting already. It's going to be one of those days. Alright, what's up Locker Nuts? We are at a storage locker. I know I say that so many times because I'm I'm always at storage lockers. This is where I love to be. I know it's where you like to be too because I know you guys have been watching the videos and I so appreciate that. We've got an exciting one today, I think. This is my personal locker. We're gonna get in here because if you remember, I took all the stuff from that really interesting $1 locker and uh it was we thought it was consignment store i don't know what the deal is we're still learning the story but all we know is this lady was rich all right who goes to italy for a month rich people who has gucci chanel burberry versace shoes that i don't even know how to pronounce never heard of rich people all right this thing's stuffed let me open it and show you what we got to work with Nice, I forgot I have a garbage can ready to go. That's how I roll. Okay guys, so look at this. Yeah, this is full, isn't it? This is my 10 by 30. I managed to fit the contents of a 10 by 25. Well, actually we found out that it was a 10 by 27. And uh, I took like one van load out of there, but everything else I did manage to fit. Why? Because we stacked it taller, all right? We went up with it. Uh, Cause I still have a fair amount of stuff in the back. Not too much, not too much, but a lot of stuff. All right, so we'll get these rolling racks. We're not gonna do those now. I wanna start getting into some of these boxes. This looks like the Leaning Tower of Pisa right here. <laughs> That's actually really good that it didn't fall over. All right, ew, that, you know what? We're gonna start with that right there. This is Garage Miscellaneous. And uh, some of the other Garage Miscellaneous boxes have been pretty, pretty good. We're gonna start with that right now, but let me clear some stuff out and make some room. And you see I got the Mercedes van with me today. I'll tell you what, I bought this thing back in November, right? I think it was November, so this is June. Um, I got 4,500 miles on it. I really haven't driven it that much, but I'll tell you, I am learning to love the van, all right? I mean, this thing drives great and everything. I, I do like the Mercedes, but just having a covered van, I'm so used to an open bed truck, open bed trailer, having the covered van, game changer. I'm so happy we bought it. But right here we just have some empty bins and stuff. Let me get those out as well because when I go through stuff, I'm starting to load this thing up and as soon as it's full, boom, to the flea market, all right? Not everything's going to the flea market, of course, but I'm gonna load it with flea market stuff. I think you know what I mean. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started. Garage miscellaneous, and I must say, this box is actually really light. Ooh, okay. <laughs> This is not what I was expecting. Shoes, okay, uh, shoe boxes. Oh, you know what, dang it. This is a box we already went through and this is the, the empty shoe boxes that we first found in the locker. All right, well, no wonder I was like, oh, we found a good box that was garage miscellaneous. That was it. Next box. I am holding on to these shoe boxes because I do hope we find the shoes that go in there. Bagley, Mishka, and Cesare Passiati. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I do think these are very expensive. So we're going to put these over here. Hold on to those for a while. See if I can find the loose shoes to go with them. It'll be easier to sell. Okay, this one says Maria's Personal. I don't know if the lady's name was Maria. We'll see how personal this gets. I'm hoping for not personal paperwork we found a lot of like bank statements photos and that kind of stuff we already gave back a bunch uh well, we'll get back more if we find it but i just hope for better stuff all right but here's cds and there's alvin the chipmunks sealed u2 shania twain all right u2 there we go one of our favorite buyers doug miller i'm gonna hook you up right there doug just kidding he hates u2 he hates them i like them they're pretty good gi joe music huh weird weird Journey's Greatest Hits, that's a good one. Grandkids, oh, nice, okay. All right, we'll figure out how to get that back, I guess. Quick Trim, Burn and Cleanse 14 Day Diet System. 60 bucks. Let's see if these are sealed. Sealed, okay, that's the first check. Is it sealed? Yes. 
second check is expiration 2012 those are a little bit past <laughs> okay starting to look more personal all right i do see a lot more paperwork and stuff here but first look at this psp dodgeball that's a movie that goes that plays on the psp cool oh here's another psp game fifa soccer that's good because we have a psp system Ah, that's too bad. That's empty. But we do have a PSP. We're going to be auctioning that off soon. I think my daughter's testing it right now. And uh, by testing it, hopefully that means she's playing it and having fun with it too. But there's some power cords. We'll definitely have to save those in case we have stuff that runs on them. All right, we've got a whole bunch of rubber bands. That's a good flea market. Where's my flea market? i got to get a little more organized here. There we go. There's the flea market. Let's bring it closer. Okay. Looks like a bunch of paperwork here. There's some books or magazines or something here. Desperate Housewives. Behind closed doors. They really make a coffee book out of that, huh? Barney's New York. It's like a high-end catalog. Baby, okay. Teen People, really? Premier Hotel. Okay, this is just magazines. I thought it was maybe something better. It's not. Journal. Ooh, journal. Like journal, journal. Oh, okay, first two pages. <laughs> That's typical of most journals we find. Joel Olstein, I think uh, I, I found a book from Joel Olstein in this locker already, so they're definitely a fan. File organizers, those sometimes sell well at the market, just depends. Okay, there's a knee brace. I'll go to the market. So I guess her name was Maria, and uh, she I found her resume. She worked as a call center operator. And it's like, okay, how do you afford all this expensive stuff as a call operator? They don't get paid that much. It just leads to some more questions, right? Oh, we got some cards. Happy birthday. Nope. No money. <laughs> oh, little picture. Okay, oh, Nikon. Hmm. Blackberry. Oh, we found the blackberries. Here's some stuff on the cameras. I think we found some cameras, too. We're definitely going to match that up if we can. Keep that. Okay, what's this? Honda 2006 CRF 80F. What's that, a motorcycle? Hmm, alright, well there's an owner's manual for a Honda. That's kind of good. It might be an eBay item or maybe put in our auction. I'm not sure. <laughs> the price of privilege. You know, all these little buggers on their phones. Oh, what's this? Hangers. Feels like hangers. Let's do something a little different. Let's go over here and hit this box right here. <laughs> Yeah, I really just did that. Didn't mean to do that. Sometimes that's the way it happens. All right, I mainly want to get a small box, see if I can clean it out by chance, because uh, then this personal stuff that I'm putting aside for her, I can start putting in a small box. Ooh, I see a Chanel logo. Oh, yes. This box didn't say anything, did it? All right, what do we got here? I see this right here. That's Chanel, isn't it? Chanel lipstick, really? What's this? Bare Essentials, okay. No makeup. All right. Replacement tip for a Zeno, whatever that is. Okay, this one's got. This one's leaking out right here. It's on its side and it's leaking out a bit. That's too bad. Oh man, look at this. I got more Chanel, right? Isn't that Chanel? Coco Chanel logo. All right, all this makeup. That's good. It's got funky stuff that's leaked out. We'll have to clean this up, but I think we can sell this makeup. That's that's pretty good. Uh, do I have any paper towels in here? Yes. Yes, because that's how locker nuts rolls right here. Yeah, baby. Prepared. Okay, at least get the sticky stuff off. What are these? Scunchy. Scunchy. For hair, I think. Okay. Oh, nice. Chanel. <laughs> Expensive. I'm assuming. I don't know. Color Science, Pearlescence, Peppa. That's kind of a grody Oral B right here. We'll put that in the flea market box. Something for the Xeno right here. Still not sure what a Xeno is. Soft soap. Oh, come on. Be something not makeup. Chanel. Please let this be a jewelry box. Eh, nope. This is still pretty dope though, right? I mean, I've never found Chanel makeup. I didn't even know they make makeup. Body lotion, Angel, Terry Mugler. 
Oh my goodness, that that seriously just squirted in my face. All I was trying to do is smell it. Dang it. All right. Well, I guess my hands need a little lotion. <laughs> it's gross. Got it in my mouth. Okay. Cracked right here. Brandon Femme Company. All right, just pocket mirror. Let's see another Chanel right here. Sublimage. Okay, there's a lot of Chanel in here. These are all Chanel. What the heck? How does they do this on a call center operator salary? That is perplexing. Hawaiian Tropic tanning oil here. More Chanel lipstick. This is metal. Okay, there's shower hooks. Alright. Market. That's gross. What was that originally? Whatever it is now, it's done. Okay. Baby oil gel. Ooh, my daughter Grace is gonna love going through this stuff. I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring this home to her and let her go through it, I think. Oh, this is good right here, guys. Look at this. This is all little perfume samplers. Oh, I wish there was more. That looks like uh I don't know, lip gloss or something in there. Um, but the perfume samplers we like to lot those up and put in our auction. So that's a good find. Hopefully find a little bit more. There's a little bit more Chanel. More Chanel. Oh. What's that? That's soap. I thought we found a, a rock or a crystal. That's soap. And that's dope. Don't you think so? Don't say nope. Whoa, here's another one. Soap Woods. Bird's Eye Maple. What the heck? That's like the nicest soap I've ever seen. Con Air. There's, I think, a little nose hair trimmer. Oh, that's good. I need those, actually, right there. We're taking that. Okay. Oh, there's... Wait a sec. This is, you know... What is this? What is a Xeno? Oh my goodness, it's some kind of laser thing for pimples. Some kind of pimple treatment. Okay. What's this? Another nose hair trimmer. This guy have a lot of nose hair or what? Here's another one. Isn't it? Yes. I don't even have a nose hair trimmer and I got lots of nose hair. Okay, there's another one. <laughs> Braun Oral B Smart Guide. Uh, maybe that goes with that toothbrush, huh? Okay, what do we got here? Mally? Alright, for all you guys who are not interested in makeup, I know you're going, this is boring, get to the next box. Okay, okay, stop yelling at me. Just kidding. I know you're not yelling. It's cool. There's lots of good stuff, right? Lots of good stuff, okay. We'll put it back. We'll put it back and get to the next box. That one I'm keeping. Okay, this one says pictures. Actually, at least the top three say pictures. I'm thinking it's probably pictures. It feels very heavy, like a box full of pictures would. But um, I just gotta make sure, you know, not this locker, but the other one we bought, where you know we had boxes that said dishes, cups, bowls, and then we find like seriously like tens of thousands of dollars of jewelry in them. For real, can't always go off of what the boxes are marked. This does look like personal stuff though. Well, and here's the shoe box. Let's see what's in the shoe box. Oh, what's that? Okay, now that's that's also photos. Shoe box right here. Is this all photos? Oh, 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 oh. that's all photos. Dang. There's a dog. Man, it weighs a ton. Now the shoe box. All photos. Holy smokes. These people took tons of photos. I see a lot of kids. I see cruises. Yowza. That's a lot of photos. Like, seriously, that's 10 pounds of photos probably right there. No wonder that box is so heavy. All right, back to this side. Because I think there's going to be a lot more pictures over there. I'll have to go through them all just to see if we find any surprises. But today I'm actually a little bit short on time. So I can't be doing too much stuff off camera. I need to get camera work because I need to get a video out of my trip today and I only have about an hour and a half here today. Let's see what we can find during that time. That was almost a rhyme. Okay, a bunch of regular old hang hangers. Okay, and I'm gonna hang on to that. Usually I'm like, dang, we got hangers, it sucks. This time I'm like, okay, we need, actually, I need hangers because we're thinking about doing a boutique at our house with some of this uh, clothing and uh, set up racks, you know, in our backyard and kind of like a garage sale, but our backyard's flat, the front yard's sloped, so do it in the backyard and direct people back and uh, yeah, price everything out. I don't know, we're just thinking about it, so I gotta have those hangers. This box right here is looking a heck of a lot better. 
So right here, Michael Kors. You know, I like me some Michael Kors and Neiman Marcus. They bought it and never wore them. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. Pretty easy. What is this? No price on this one. Five and a half mediums. Very, she had a very small foot. Let's see what's in this one. Oh my God. Prada? I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Prada shoes. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Worn a little bit. A little bit, right? You, see, you still see this sticker on here. She didn't take the sticker off, and you see it's still on there. She's probably worn this once, maybe twice. I don't know, maybe a little bit more. They need to be cleaned up a little bit, but dang, man, this Prada. Prada shoes. How much did she pay for these? Doesn't say. More receipt. Oh, man. Michael Kors. Prada, what's next? Seems to be going up. <laughs> oh, I see a person there too. We'll get to that in a second. All right, Samsung AC adapter. There's a flashlight energizer. Some cards. I just checked for money. That one's a brand new card, but it's kind of wrinkled up. On your birthday, that's a brand new card. Now it is in perfect condition. Ooh, that's actually a nice card too. We put the cards aside. We we lot them up in our auctions, our live auctions. Guys, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I mention live auctions, and I may mention a couple times through these through this video, um, we do live auctions on our YouTube channel. That's where you can buy some of the better stuff that we find. Maybe this purse here. I don't know. This is looking kind of nice. We do them every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. But then sometimes we'll do a pop up too. And it's funny I mentioned that. We're having a pop up today. This is Wednesday. All right. What is this? Made in India. Santi. There's, looks like that's the dust bag. Huh. That's a little different. Kind of neat. No, that's the dust bag. I'm not sure what that is. A belt? Huh. Okay. What else we got in here? Neiman Marcus. Okay. Another Neiman Marcus. Uh, this is probably the ribbon that goes around a package. That's what I would guess. She saved all these ribbons from Neiman Marcus packages. Could be. Could be. Yeah, here's a purse. It looks like it's pretty full, too. Let's see what we got on here. I believe it says. I believe it's probably not too expensive. But it does it does appear to be leather, and it's in decent condition. It's a little dusty. Probably sitting in her closet for a while. Holy Bible on DVD or CD. Oh, it's not a purse. It's a Bible holder. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. Look at that. Cool. It hasn't even been written in. It's brand new. Oh, maybe we'll auction that. I don't know. Oh, look at even the little tag right here. It's got the cross on it. That's pretty nice. What do we got here? Ah, a little Nikon cool pics. Right on. 12 megapixels. That's a pretty decent camera. Excellent condition. This it's got the battery, it's got no data card, that's not a big deal, but um, guys, this is why I keep all the chargers and cords and everything I find and also the instructions. You gotta pair this stuff up if you can. It's just much more valuable if you have all the pieces to go with it. Alright, let's see. Do we have gift cards? No. No. And the battery shot on these. Too bad they're brand new. Whoa, 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 look at that candle. Hand poured botanical candle, it's an apple pear. Looks a little bit older, but I think that's still a good candle. Flea market. Okay, there's a VTech phone, flea market. There's a jump rope, that's a little different, huh? It's got the little plastic things on it. Is that better than normal jump ropes? Hmm, that was a huge candle. Look at that, it's been burned for a little bit. It's got a lot of life left in it though. It's pretty cool. These ones are kind of greasy. I have a feeling these are more candles. Let's see. Yeah, there's one. Ew. Hmm. Restoration hardware. Vanilla. Okay, let's put that back. It's kind of juiced out a little bit. What's this, this one? Hmm. Pure Romance Massage Oil Candle. Ooh. -hoo. Really? That's interesting. It's not a bad box, a little better. 
Okay, what do we got here? It says fragile. Fleur de glass. Oh, flower glasses, maybe? Or a glass made, uh, flower made out of glass? I don't know. Hmm. Wow. It's the Fleur de Lee on glasses, on this glass. Uh, that's actually pretty dang nice. Uh, a lot of paper. One little glass. Oh, here's something different. Look at that. That's heck of fancy. It's really something else. Got all these little beads and things glued onto the handle. Huh. Oh my goodness. There's a big fat cockroach right there. You see that? He's dead. That's gross. I saw that and I thought it was part of a flower. It said flower and I said, oh, okay, there's no flowers in here. Nope. Nasty bug. Um, these, but I'm very interested in these little Florida Lee glasses. Those are nice. Those are nice. How many could we possibly have in here? Okay, that's another um, Florida de Lee glass, but that's a bigger, like, pint-sized. So, is that what this whole thing is? This whole thing with all those glasses? That makes for very boring videos. I do understand that. So, what do I want to do with that? Do I want to take that to the market? I think I do. I think I do. Well, hold on, there's something different down closer to the bottom. Let's see what we got. Right, just a oh, oh. I was about to say just a glass bowl, but this one's made in France. Duralex. Duralex. Made in France. Did we not just find a whole bunch of made in France bowls in the other locker? There's like a whole set of them, nesting set. Wow. Okay. Mmm. Nope, this is crystal here. That's crystal, and that's a pretty nice piece. All right, shoot. I won't be able to bring all this to the market that quick. I mean, there could be some really expensive pieces in here, so I'm going to have to go through a little bit more carefully. That's not going to be today on this timeline because I don't want to do that on camera. That is super boring. I wouldn't watch that video. I imagine you guys wouldn't watch that video. Uh, these things are cool right here. I bet you I could probably put a little set of these up on a local Facebook or something and sell them. Might be better. Now we got this right here, miscellaneous clothes, and then below it we got garage miscellaneous. So you know what, instead, let me let me go to, over to here. Let's let's do one of these. I have to put a little side, a little boxes, little ones over there. I don't know why. I think because I was running out of room. And those fit in the aisle a little better. Let's see what's in here. So I, I'm not sure. It says kitchen miscellaneous, and it says books. These boxes were definitely repurposed. Maybe she moved a couple times, or maybe she got the boxes from someone else who just recently moved. Okay, I see a hole puncher. Okay, see some flowers. Fake ones. Those are fakers. Kind of like some of the YouTubers out there. Fake. This is good. Wastebasket liners. Okay, yeah. Um, that's good. We use those at home a little bit, but really our cleaners use it. <laughs> we have a cleaning service that comes in, they use those. Maybe I'll give it to him. I think it's the same way for you. Alright. Prayer for baby. Oh. That had a hole in it. Looks like all the liquid squirted out. That is going to the dome. Oh, it's so pretty and nice. That one's pretty. What is going on here? Jeez, I stuck my hand into that. Beans. Oh my goodness, you know what this is? These could be magic beans right here. These could be magic beans. Make a beanstalk pop out of the ground. Come on. A little faster? No? Alright, maybe, uh, maybe we'll do time lapse. Maybe they're a defective. I don't know, I'm just kidding. Dump those out and keep that. That's actually a really nice pot right here. Look at that, it's even got a, like, a, a drain on the bottom. That's really nice. I might bring that home. See if Grace wants to plant something in there. That's a pig right there. Piggy bank empty. Dang it. Dang it, piggy. You let us go. <laughs> I haven't found a full piggy bank in quite a while. I've been finding lots of empty ones lately. That was disappointment. That wasn't worth the time. Okay, someone went to pottery uh, event on, for their kid or something. Watch this. Oh, I'm going to get a hate on that. You could have sold that at the flea market for 50 cents. 
Why did you do it? Why lock the nuts? Ah, oh, more in pottery. Do it yourself. Let's see if I can get the bird this time. Oh, ho, ho, that bird's so strong. Another chance for a romance right here. Can we bust that bird's bill? Oh, yes. I think this one's got got what it takes. You ready? Oh, that was weird. I hit the side of the box. Yeah. All right. Show's over, folks. It's not what we're here for. Okay, I do see some of my life. Scissors. I love me some scissors. Those are gross. Those are cheap. Those feel nicer, but they don't close all the way. Okay, I guess they do. All right, those ones are coming home with me. Those, mark it. Hey, that's a nice hammer right there. You. Yeah. Oh, price tag stickers. Yeah, I might keep those. Fishing line. Oh, here's something. A little Swiss Army knife. Sweet. Look at that. With the little golf clubs on it. I've never seen one like this before. Look at this. Got these things here to get your golf tee out of the ground. What else? Okay, there's just a knife. And there's a beer opener. That's right. <laughs> and that's a little different right there. Probably for cleaning your clubs. I bet you that's what that's shaped for. Cleaning the tips of your clubs when it gets dirty. That's actually really neat. I've never seen one before, uh, you know, just for the golf the golf setup like that. So, kind of cool. All right, this is all good flea market stuff. Here's a nice little... That's too good for the flea market. That's a Maglite uh, LED bulb in there. Looks like the batteries are dead, maybe. Uh, I'm sure they are. So, we'll bring that home, see if the batteries aren't popped. Put that in a lot in our options, because that's, that's a good seller. Well, these are cool Sharpies. got the fat end and the skinny end. I'm going to keep that. Hopefully they're not dried out. And, oh, 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 we need this. I'm always not able to find that in our auctions for some reason. Now we got another one. Okay, what else we got? Mm, nothing. We'll just bring it all to the flea market. All right, well, that small box was just what I needed so I can get some of the personal stuff put aside. Let's get another one. Hall closet, toilet trees. Huh? There's some curlers, ion shine, con air. My goodness, those look brand new. There's two of them. Heating pad, a cover for he heating pad. And there's the heating pad. All right. Oh, this stuff's expensive, isn't it? Is it what is this? Is this a razor with the moisturizer? I don't know what this is. Chic. I think that's a razor. Man, look at this stuff, you guys. It's all brand new. Knee support. The shower hook's brand new. $13, Bed Bath & Beyond. Pedicure paddle. Brand new. Dang. This is going to be great stuff for the flea market. But... Coaches elastic bandage. Daily lotion. Bio oil for stretch marks. Some white strips. Feke advance. Conditioner. Oh, I need some conditioner. <laughs> I am seriously out of conditioner. Moisturizer, baby powder, moisturizing body milk. That looks expensive. Made in Paris. It looks expensive. What's this? Daily lotion. Moisturizing body polish. It's really dried up. Probably doesn't matter if you put on a loofah or something. Body clear. Body wash. What got here? That's a little Kleenexes. That's a nice little box right here. I think it's all going to go to the flea market, though. Unfortunately. Skin oil. Just don't need this stuff. Body wash. Maybe I'll take that. What's this? Treating gel. Tightening abs. Oh, I could use that. <laughs> Body lotion. Am I going after... I'm picking the same things up twice. I don't even know anymore. Alright. That's a nice little box. I mean, really, this stuff sells very well at the flea market. And there's night light. Um, yeah, this these little two dollar, two dollar, two dollar, two dollars gonna add up. This is Sudafed. Now nah, we're gonna throw that away. We don't need that at the flea market. Might use it for the wrong stuff. Okay, so that's not bad. I'm gonna text Jenna real quick see if they want these, and then uh, yeah, wrap it up. Okay, next box right here. This is books. Uh, this feels a little heavy.
Yeah. Hugs. Hugs for the holidays, all right? Yeah, a bunch of books. I don't know. These look like self-help stuff. Does that sell? I don't know. Should I take it to the bookstore? No, I hate doing that. They make you wait so long, and then they're like, oh, we'll give you $7.18, and we don't want these. You have to take those back. It's like, what? I waited for 45 minutes. Right, what's this? Oh, there's some little LED lights from Ikea. No, I'm taking those home. The kids are really into that. They like that kind of stuff. And this looks like a box down at the bottom here. Oh, got four of these, that's cool. Alright, what's this right here? It is a uh, Windsor Pilates box. And it looks like it's VHS, so yeah, that's not great because it's old tech. Go to YouTube and you can probably watch most of these things for free. Alright, well I was kind of work trying to work around this one. Miscellaneous clothes. I didn't really want to get into clothes right now, but you know what? It's kind of in the way. I see a lot of those other ones over there say pictures on them. Don't really want to go through those right now either. So let's do it. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? We've been finding good clothes in this locker, so... Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Right out the gate. See? Tags. $214. What the heck? Oh, jeez. Tags. And I'm saying, oh, jeez, like, this is good, right? And I'm not complaining. <sighs> Size 44. Etob Lombardini. No price on that that I can see. But brand new. And look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, and that's kind of why I was putting off clothes. I just knew it was going to be good. And I, I knew I'd get sucked into it. And the video would kind of turn. Take a turn for that way. Uh, oh, what's this? <laughs> uh, it looks expensive. Rene Lazard. Lazard. Made in Germany? Wow. Okay. What's on here? Nothing. That's just... That's nothing. Look at that. That's really pretty. It's like a raincoat or something. Dang, that's nice. Oh, what's that? A belt to go with it. Yeah. Okay. A couple pieces here. This dress. Versace. Oh my goodness. Look at that dress. Versace dress. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Infinite. One size. Little skirt. Dang, this stuff's nice. Versace though. Ah oh, man, I'll tell you, Versace's always gonna have a special place in my heart. Because that locker I found, what was that last year I bought that one? That was the first time I'd ever found Versace. And we made a lot of money on that locker. I think we made over 10 grand on it or close to it. Laundry by Shelly Seagal, that's good. Um, that, so I, ever since then I've just, and we still have some Versace pieces on our eBay store from that locker. But I just, I love it. Here's Bebe. Not, nothing too, too special there, but uh, not bad. It's not compared to Versace. <laughs> what we got here? Oh, and don't forget, guys, we got all three of those. And I know we already seen some Gucci pieces on there. So I know there's good stuff there. Cynthia Vincent. 12th Street by Cynthia Vincent. $314 for these pants right here. Yeah, was a... What's this? Same thing, 12th Street by Cynthia Vincent. Oh, it's still got the tag as well. $214. Okay. IMSC. I don't know, that was 35 bucks. And this one, Eskimp I don't know what to say that. That's cool. <laughs> the, the hangers are nice. All right, what do I got here? Got three things on one hanger, so. Splendid, Splendid, James Purse, Los Angeles. These are like just little sundresses. And what's this one? Susanna Monaco on this one here. Very nice, very nice. Twisted Heart, American Everlasting. It's a nice dress. This one's been dry cleaned. Sky. Okay. The robe works. It's a really high quality robe. Here's another. This one's Nordstrom by something. I don't know what that is, but this is another really nice robe. 
100% cotton. Okay, this is heavy. There's a lot of pieces on here. Look at this, Christine Vancouver. $215, that's a robe right here. What is this made out of? It feels like silk, 100% silk. We have a beautiful silk robe there and then it looks like a bunch, a whole bunch of silk 90s right here. Perla, made in Italy. Holy smoke, size three. Look at this. Perla, made in Italy, size three. These are silk. Argent Ovivo, another silk one. I don't know what that one is. I'm not seeing the brands here. I don't want to get them too tangled up. There's there's a lot of them here. Look at this. Christine Vancouver on that one. That's the same as the robe. High quality stuff here, guys. Oh man, I'm again I'm just kind of in shock that like there's so much money just right on that one hanger right there. All these silk robes. Each one is they cost a lot brand new. I'm sure they still have some value. I think these are considered vintage. Whew. Underwriters, 130 bucks. What the heck? Who spends 130 bucks on that? You can almost see through it. <laughs> it's crazy. And there's two of them. There's a $84. Wow. $218 bucks on this. Malaysia by La Pearl. And then this thing right here. $164 on this. It's like a, another dr dress right here. Oh, man. Victoria's Secret right here. 100% silk. Silk Victoria's Secret robe. That's pretty cool. It looks vintage too. That might have some value. And then another one of those underwriters right here. This is like another couple pieces. There's two or three pieces here. And these are all like velvet. More nightwear. This is fantastic, guys. This is really, really good. If, if nothing else, I could bring these to the vintage market and sell them. Maybe not that one, but all these pieces, I bet you I could. But this stuff is this stuff is good. Wow, 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 wow. This is some real money here. This is some real money. Every box is potentially big, big money. All right, guys, it's just like that. I'm already done. I'm out of time. Ah, so much time spent taking all the you know stuff out so I can work and then put all the stuff back in, set the table up, taking it down. But as I get this cleared out, I won't have to do that too much because I'll have more room, basically. My other unit is still pretty full and it's kind of messy right now, disorganized. So we're working here and ah, that was still good, right? What do we find? Prada shoes, Chanel makeup, a Versace dress, among many, many other good things. So hey, even if this winds up being a short video, Video. It was still a good little uh, find, right? We only went through a few boxes. This has been a great locker. I think more great stuff to come, and I'll be back here maybe tomorrow. I'll spend more time so I won't be so rushed, and also I can go through glassware and stuff off camera and not have to worry about it so I can really make some progress and hopefully fill that van up so I get back to the flea market, right? Thanks so much for watching this video. The next one will be out soon. We'll be digging right here next time on Locker Nuts, right? But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. Next time on Locker Nuts, we're gonna do a little home unboxing. I brought these home with me. This box will look through. This one here, we already looked in, and it has a bunch of jewelry boxes in there. We're gonna do a deep dive on that. I'll call it a deep dive. And this stuff we already looked at, and this box we looked at, we're gonna do a closer and look and see if we can find any gold and silver. <laughs>